Hi friends, hi family, welcome back to another video. We're just gonna run through a few things. Suncorp Super League has started. Um they have already gone through two rounds. Um I'm not gonna lie, the lightning have been looking really good. The Swifts have been looking really good. The Thunderbirds really good. Uh Shamira Sterling Humphrey has been on her game. Their shooting end has been good as well and um the matches though have been really close really tight i uh, really love what the firebirds are doing so far they look good i really really hope they can maintain it during the season because we already know as we get to mid-season to the end of the season the firebirds usually fall off so we're hoping that they really um can stick this one out for the season so we have the results for round one, courtesy of Netball TV on TikTok. You will get uh, much results on TikTok, Facebook, on Google search. You can find all these results. Uh, if you go ahead, um, that was what the table looked like after round one. Going into round two, the Fever played the Lightning. They looked amazing. I am actually shocked that the Lightning were beaten that bad. I really, we really expected a matchup, but we didn't expect the win to be such a huge win. Shanice has been holding her own. Yes, she has missed a few shots, but you know, she's just getting into the groove of being a part of this high paced game. Janiel Fowler Neymar has been amazing with those long bombs. We all know her to be a shooter under the pole. We knew her to be a standing shooter, but now she has expanded her game, spread her wings some more, and I just love when she put these up. disappointed in the Giants so far they haven't had enough had a win uh, since the season have started uh, they usually do start this slow so the Giants are not looking bad but they haven't gotten a win as yet we're hoping to see them um, push some more get the wins in get all those connections right we know that uh, Sophie Dwyer came up on 50 games 1000 domestic league goals so we know that they have the capability we know that they have the leadership in joe harton we're just hoping that the team can really get everything together and get a win under their belt round 15 in 2021 for kiana williams such a bright young talent who's been Kind of halted in its tracks a wee bit. I got into a car accident. Um, I broke my back a little bit, so I had to have surgery on that, and that took me out of the was it 2022 season. And then, you know, I went through all the rehab with Magic, recovered really well from that. And then after that, I sort of did my shoulder again for the second time. Um, and at this point, I had been taken as a training partner with Pulse, so that took me out for the next season as well, which which was pretty disheartening because it had already been a year and I was like okay another whole season of being able to play just rehabbing. It was a really long process of trying to get back here. Can I still play at this level? So it was a bit, it was a bit tough but the Pulse have been really supportive yeah, since coming back in. Jumping over to the ANZ Premiership, they have started same time as the um Suncorp League, they will be going into round three this week. So they had two rounds completed. Um, huge congratulations to Kiana Williams. As you heard her story earlier, she broke her back. She had to do surgery twice. Uh, she was out for two seasons and she's back with the pulse. And that is just good to hear. And I just wish her all the best going forward.
congratulations to Tactics, Captains, Kimura Poi and 100 uh, National League games. Also to um, Jane Watson as well. She celebrated 150 games. She also plays for the Tactics as well. Uh, Elbert um, also came up on 100 games. Uh, so they had a bit of celebration uh, for the past two rounds for both for all players. So it was good to see them being celebrated. Um, playing 100 and 150 games is not easy. So congratulations to them. Also made mention for with um, her name has slipped my mind. Kim Ravalian, right. Of the Firebirds over in Suncorp. She, did, she celebrated 150 games as well. Also, Gabby Sinclair from the Mavericks, 50 games as well. So congratulations to all the ladies playing that many games. The pressure on the body with age, um, going to training every day. It's just a lot. And then some of them are parents. You know, some of them have, are going to school, university. They have their jobs separate. So congratulations to them, whether it's 50 games, 100 games, 150 games. Job well done, ladies. Jumping over to NSL, they are midway through their season, halfway there. Um, that was the results from last week's set of games. Uh, this is what the table looks like. And uh, you can keep updated, as I said, with Netball TV on TikTok. Or you can find them on uh, YouTube. There are also updates from um, NSL on Instagram and on Facebook. So you can keep up with the matches. Thank you for watching and tune in to all the different mediums that they have to show these matches. Support your team, support your girls, and um, enjoy some netball. Bye!